Today I'm finally going to be playing my very first spooky custom zombies map called Nightmare. This has been a highly requested custom map for a good minute now so I'm finally here to play it but this map also has some custom weapons, some very unique features, actual working checkpoints and of course a main easter egg quest. This map looks like nothing I've played before so I'm very much looking forward to getting into it but I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty bad with horror games so let's just see how this goes dude oh god. Getting overwhelmed, throw one of these to burn them to the ground. Already from the screenshots, this looks awesome. Um, out of ammo, this will never let you down. The knife! Okay. Feeling a bit slow, this will give you a temporary boost. Running low on ammo. <laughs> okay, sweet. So it kind of covers you on everything. That's cool. All right, sweet. Need a new weapon? We got you covered. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they got us with everything. Oh, what the heck? Ah, there's spiders. Oh, look, it's the Origins cutscene. Wait, am I supposed to get out? Oh, I think I am. <laughs> I was just sitting there waiting for something to happen. <laughs> oh, there are the zombies. Oh, I'm actually playing as Rick Toffin. Hold on, let me pick up the M1911 real quick. Because I have the RK5. Whoa! These zombies look insane. So I guess I'll pick all this stuff up. Wait, what, what's happened? Oh, I put it down. So I got the adrenaline thing. Okay, that's E. Um, Okay, sweet. Well, I'll just take the M1911. Yeah, because I start off with the RK5, so it's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go out here. Is there no rounds? I don't even see a round. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even knife. My bind doesn't work. These kind of look like clickers from La uh, Left 4 No, not Left 4 Dead. The Last of Us. Damn. This looks so good. Yo. What the hell was that? Oh my god. It kind of scared me. <laughs> Something IRL just fell. Okay, hey, pick a Bowie knife. Nice. The Bowie knife. That's why we couldn't knife, huh? So, Nightmare Vision. This gives us invincibility. That's cool. And it also gives us hints. So we'll use that later. I guess we might not even use, like, a um, guide or something for the actual Easter egg. We'll find out, though. We'll find out. So, let me pick up all this stuff here. Pick up the cocktail. Got some ammo. I guess we'll take that, sure. Oh, wait. This is... Is this a... Can I just use this all the time? Oh, no, I can't. I just wasted it. Well, give me, give me this one. <laughs> I can only have one. I thought it would regen or something. Oh, but there's a bunch laid around. Yeah, there's not even a round number. I'm guessing this is gonna be like a experience, like a story experience. Which way do I open up to? Oh wait, there's not even any points. Ah, let me turn on this. Oh, over here. Is that Samantha? What up dudes this is so cool this is actually crazy it's truly a whole nother game oh wow there's a lot of these guys whoa yeah because i'm not even making any points so i'm guessing we can't even buy anything it's just gonna be interacting with stuff okay i'll just use the knife this thing seems to be op <laughs> More than the actual weapons. So I don't have to worry about ammo. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Never mind, I'm pulling out RK5. Okay. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Is the elevator coming yet? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I thought the elevator was going to be coming quicker. Okay, it's finally here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. How do I leave? Oh my god, no way. How do I get out? How do I get out? How do I go? Go, go. Wait, where, where's the button? Oh, wait, what? I have to actually put a code in? <gasps> okay. So let's clear. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell was that? <laughs> we can mantle over this. Hold on. So... Let me pull this out. Let's see. Is there like anything on the walls or anything? What, did I miss anything in here? 
I don't think so. Dude, this is insane. I guess we're gonna mantle then. So what is this? Activate alarm. Find all the letters. Okay, B. Bro, I can't see squat. Hold on. I'm gonna test something real quick. Uh oh. Hold on. I gotta have that Q button ready. I'm pushing it. Okay, let me pick this up. Oh, there it is. Finally. Oh, nice. Dude, that invincibility thing is so clutch. Here, let me refill on ammo. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. This is just literally like a story game. It's not even... It's not even zombies. Because you don't have to worry about points. It's, it's such a weird concept, I guess, because we're playing Black Ops 3 that... I'm just so used to trying to kill zombies mainly to get a setup and stuff, but it seems like that's not even necessary. So, oh, you can even choose your own weapon here? So we get the, uh, what was it, XM? Oh no, the M4, A12. I'm gonna go with the shotgun. I, I think the shotgun's probably gonna be best. Okay, so it said to find all the letters. Press F to interact with lock. Oh, there's more letters. Oh, adrenaline shot. I already have one. Oh yeah, it's E. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we've seen some letters on the wall is it only whenever i interact with this oh it is so let's see what's the first letter is it always gonna turn off the power okay so it's b immediately there's one over here i see b a b a f b a f okay let me see b a f whoops b a F. Unlock. Hey, there we go. Key card. So we also seen a big monster. That was like a big dude. It kind of reminded me of like an Outlast type of demon spawn. I'm assuming he's probably gonna be like the boss or something with the fight later on. So let's use the key card. Oh wait, but oh, bro, I'm an idiot. This isn't for code. This is to use the elevator. So. Wait, where did it say? It said to go to the base, right? Let's go here, I guess. <laughs> I already forgot. Wait, doesn't it tell you what the... Nah, I don't think it does. <laughs> I already forgot. We're just going to go down here. I should have probably explored all these other floors. I'm such an idiot. I don't know why I thought I had to put a code in. I'm overthinking everything. Cutscene! No way. It's Woods! I didn't even see <laughs> it was like a jump scare but I didn't even see what it was okay this gain access to security room in west office okay so this reminds me a lot of outlast oh it's Ted um fuse missing okay so we gotta find a fuse here let's see see I'm gonna try to do okay another fuse missing there I'm gonna try to do this all without looking at a guide because it seems like it it kind of tells you what to do. Open door. You can actually just open doors. <gasps> I don't know why I'm surprised about opening doors by the word we're talking about. There's a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> okay, enter code. So there was a child around here. Okay, so whenever the power goes out, I'm just expecting zombies. Oh my goodness, I got- hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, they get on the ceiling? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. No, 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 I'm not even risking it. I don't know what happens whenever you die. Like, I don't know if you actually just, like, genuinely die or if you come back to life or retry or something. But I'm not gonna risk it. Since there's no quick revive, I don't know what happens. I'm assuming you just die. It's just game over. There we go. Oh, ch oh, checkpoint reached. Wait, if I die, do I actually come back to the checkpoint? I would really appreciate if that does work like that. Okay, so we need. Oh, oh, inspect. Hold on, hold on, zombie, zombie, zombie. zombie. I saw Voice. The alarm code and hit it in two places. They're coming. I have to go. Damn, that's awesome. Uh, I see that we have the Samantha doll here. Oh, some Windex. 
Okay, so... This is honestly not what I expected the map to be at all. Like, I know you guys said that this experience was way different. But, um... This is awesome. Wait, what? What is this? <gasps> there are... N what's... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There's animals in this, too? We got some gators. We got some gators in here. Can I kill them? Hold on. I have a feeling there's something in here. Come back. Damn. Whatever, dude. Hey, peace out, dude. This is your hometown. I don't want to be in there. A little gator doesn't hurt every now and then. Oh. Yeah, I got to I got to make sure to try to mantle everywhere cuz I that's something that I got to do. Seems like mantling is Look at a slot. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's a that's a that's a live. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I thought that was a number. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of exploring. So this said something about a fuse. Obviously, we do have to find a fuse. But, huh. I'm guessing we turn them in here? I removed the fuse to lock the doors and prevent those creatures from coming in, but it was useless. I placed a fuse in one of the desks in the West Wing offices. In the West Wing offices. Placed a fuse... Okay, in one of the desks in the West... West Wing offices. So, West Wing... So we found a fuse there. Deep they are. My pockets are really beginning to run out of room. Um Okay. Wait. Oh, I can place it in different ones. Hold on, let me go see what that did. Oh, did this open over here? Oh, it did. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, more zombies. Whoa! Oh my god, what just happened? Oh, dude, 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 dude. Holy crap, I'm 8 HP. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Okay, I'm taking an adrenaline shot. Just to see what it does, because... Oh, okay, yeah, it just buffs you. I haven't used it. I, I did say... It described what it did at the beginning. I just haven't used it. Nice. There we go. We've got the power on. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Not today, dude. Not today. Sweet. So, we can also open drawers now, which I learned. Man, this is awesome. Oh, another note. Dr. Gersh was working on a device. Gersh! Any safe. He called it the safe cracker. I saw it somewhere in his office. Shout out to Gersh. Gersh is on the map. Somewhere in his office. <gasps> Margua! You guys probably can't hear it on... <laughs> on, um... The mic. But outside, somebody's working. And they, they keep on making loud noises. And when I least expect it... <laughs> It uh spooks the hell out of me because I'm like focused on the game and then I hear something IRL. So let's pick up this safe cracker. And it sounds so close because it's right outside my window. So safe cracker found. Do we have to take this to Ted? Oh, I thought that was quick revive for a second. I don't think we can go in there though. Oh, hey, there's like a kitchen area. Okay, so we have the AK-5, the AK-47, AK-5 or AK-47, the reload time. It's cool though, it has the stats and everything. Um, the AK-5 seems to reload a little bit faster. But I think I'm gonna go with the 47. Select this thing. I'm gonna get rid of the M1911. Whoa, look at this! Kind of reminds me of a weapon off of um, Bioshock. It kind of looks like a Bioshock weapon. Let's check all the drawers in here. Ooh, wait, what was that? Oh, Molotov. We got a slab of something. God, the smell in here must be insane. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Oh, hello. What 
we have in here? Can I actually crawl in there? No way. Looks like you need something else to enter. Okay. So, let's go take this safe cracker thing to Ted. Seems like maybe I gotta do that. Or let me, let me pull this out. Oh! Oh. I removed the fuse. Oh, wait. I removed the fuse to lock the doors and prevent those... Oh, wait. I already read this one. Wait, why does it tell... Okay, that's kind of weird. The paper is here, but I thought I was inspecting that. Whoops. Let's go. Let's go see if I can do anything in here. Okay, so I can take the fuse. So, I'll just put the fuse in another spot. It seems like that area that we went to doesn't really have much. So, let's go upstairs now. Yeah, because now that door is closed. Which door does this open now? The right side. I need to hide in a spot. Like, hold on, let me throw my Molotov. Oh, but there's way more. Oh, I need ammo. Let's pull out the AK. Let's see how good this thing is. Oh, nice. I can actually see better with this weapon, too. With the shotgun, it seems like it's kind of harder to see. It's just so dark. Holy crap. <laughs> Ah, uh, get me out of here. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. What the hell? This guy's... Get off of him. Oh, snap. Who is this? <gasps> it's Woods. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really tell. <laughs> Woods was in a cutscene, though, so I don't know. <laughs> That's the first person that came to mind. Probably not Woods. Let's see. Oh, more weapons. So we got the A12. Oh, okay. It's just the same ones that we had before. Oh, I thought that was a perk machine for a second. Okay, let's use this. Ah. Wait, no, never mind. Oh. Dr. Yuri's gone mad and is looking for me. I must hide. I have hidden the part for his remote control device in the ventilation system. Okay, yeah, that's what I've seen. He can hear everything. So we did go over there, but it said I need something else. So let's go change the fuse and let's go to the other side and see if maybe I have to go to the other side first and then come back to the other area. Because it said I need something else to go into the ventilation area. <laughs> I'm just kind of going on my own adventure. I'm going to my own areas. Oh. Okay. Oh, we got some showers. I think this is gonna be good for the zombie part. Let me block the door with the Molotov. I'll grab this one. Oh God, they can go. They can come through there. Okay, cool. Oh, this is actually the smoothest zombie phase that we've gone through so far. <laughs> nice. Okay, sweet. There's probably still a couple of zombies somewhere around here. I just want to loot real quick. I need to get a Molotov. I always got to have one of those handy. Okay. So. Another vent area. But I need something else. Something else. It's weird that there is multiple locations. Okay, we got the MP5 and the Uzi. I think I'm going to go with the Uzi. I'm a big Uzi fan. I'm, I don't know what to get rid of, it, though. The shotgun's good. But either way, I feel like... Eh, well, we can get the shotgun back. I'm gonna get the Uzi real quick. It will be a pleasure to deal this much pain. Hmm. Oh, that's Jug. Hey. Guess not. Oh, open doors. I don't have the key. Nice. By the way, I don't even know why I have a timer. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I need a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, because there's not any rounds for the timer. That's fine. Reload! No! Excuse me. Yeah, pull down with the AK. Uzi! <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, come on. Turn the power on, damn it. Thank you, thank you. 
No! Wait, I died? No! Okay, so you can restart from the last checkpoint. No, I died! <laughs> Wait, so last checkpoint was what? Then? Damn. That's cool, though. You don't actually die. That's that's kind of what I wanted to find out, too. What happens when you, when you actually die, since there's no perks or anything. Okay. So, right now... Oh, man. This started me over all the way back. Oh, okay. So, I gotta get... Last time I had the fuse, I had the safe cracker thing. And then I had something else, I believe. I was just missing the key. And then we have this. We're gonna enter a code. Imagine if I can guess it. Here, let's see. If I was living in this household, what code would I put? I'm gonna put 10... How many, wait, how many numbers? Okay, it is. Let me see. <laughs> Imagine if I would have got it. <laughs> this is pretty much where we where we died. I couldn't find anything else after this. It's kind of nice that I don't have to worry about saving a zombie. Because usually with these types of maps where it's more story driven, it's kind of kind of hard to save a zombie while focusing on everything. So this is nice. There's got to be something in here too hidden. It's just these gators are in here. They won't let me do anything. Oh, I can get on this. Oh, we got some perk bottles there. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. <gasps> Alright, now I go in here, though. Huh. What's this? 29. 29, 29, 29. 29? What's the significance of the 29? 29 so that's gonna be the code open the door 29 well if we really think about it we break down the statistics and the math and the numbers we can honestly just divide two through nine and then five times five equals three so we can honestly just guess the last two numbers what does it say see 10 answers we can honestly just guess the other two numbers the probability of us <laughs> guessing the, the last two numbers are honestly pretty pretty high let me see. So this is the number. So it's 29. 29. And then let's see. What, what, what else would the number be? It has to be something like 7, 6. No way! No, no, no way I actually guessed that. No way. What the hell? Dude, I'm a freaking legend, dude. Oh, an LMG! I'm taking that. Dude, let's go. Oh. Switch symbol. Inspect. I'm finally catching some rest in this room. Those symbols. I, I've seen those broadcast on monitors. I think. I did also see that as well on the monitors. Yeah. Access to the cameras. East wing. Lobby. What is it, like FNAF? East wing. The canteen. West wing. This is where we gotta go. Yeah, so this is the laundry, the west wing, wards. How big is this map? So we gotta find symbols now. We gotta we gotta switch these up. I'm assuming it's each of the It's gonna be each of the rooms, maybe? Oh whoa, 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 what do we have in here? A flamethrower? <gasps> Wait, it actually is. <laughs> and I found I just knifed it and it works. Does it recharge? Please tell me it does. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't. Oh, but I can just get ammo, can't I? Let me test it real quick. Cool. I literally just wasted that for one shot, but it's okay. Yeah, so let's see. Where are the TVs again? So, monkey bomb is... Monkey bomb. Monkey bomb. Monkey bomb. Oh, boy, what the hell? So, monkey bomb is... Which, which one is this? Which one is this? This is... This is three? So three is is three monkey bomb? Is that how it works? Let me let me just test it that. Test that out real quick. Three monkey bomb. I don't know why I said monkey bomb, it's just a monkey, but let's see if that's maybe it. Oh we know this is three. Top top floor is three. Top floor is three. This is two. Right? 
No, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, let me just put it in two because it's clearly not three. Because I'm assuming it's going to be th these fuses for the rooms. It seems like this is the one that's always open. Or the one that we opened already, so... I don't know. Three, let's just go test this out. I mean, it's possible we could just get the other three and then for that last one maybe we'll just put whatever and hopefully it'll work okay get away oh there's something here there's something there okay, finally the stupid come on come on the lights on come on get, get off me there's something here that i can pick up i'm just make sure i killed all the zombies <laughs> ah what the hell <laughs> <laughs> nice okay so that's the number bro that's the number that we guessed <laughs> stupid doll what the hell oh wait the tv i didn't even didn't even look for the tv oh i think in here yep so this is an oh it says the number two is i then what was this was i right on this was it one i'm kind of a legend i'm kind of a legend dude oh wait i'm not a legend Okay, there we go. So, we got those two. Now we just need the rest. Television. I think this is where... was. Oh, there it is. Four is... Four is PhD. So, if four is... Wait, what? Damn, there's a lot of symbols. So, we know what one, two is. We don't know what three is, so I'm just going to guess. No way! <laughs> Wait, am, is this rigged? Okay, so access granted. So now we got to access the lab. Is that over, over here? I know there's a couple of doors... That were kind of locked. Oh, it is here. Wait, no, that's East Wing. This was open? Did we just... When? Whatever. Oh, this just goes upstairs. The chapel. Can I have the key? That's one thing we gotta find, the key. I'm assuming we get the key after we do this next part, though. Okay, that's just to go downstairs. Is this it? No. Is this it? Yes! Oh, and a cutscene! Look at me with my flamethrower. Wait, what? Pentagon thief? Hide and keep your distance if you want to stay alive. Find the RCXD remote. Running can give away your location. I have to actually hide from this fool? Wait, no way. Hold on, he can't see me. If you can't see them, they can't see you. There's no way he guesses this room. If they can't see you, you can't see them! He sounds kind of close, but... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, he can stop me! He can stop me! Oh, I'm dead? Wait, I actually just start here? Oh! <gasps> This is kind of OP. So I have to find the controller to the RCXD. So me, gotta go. Hold on. Wait, so if I just like go around here and grab this, what do I do? What happens then? Take out the doctor with the RCXD. <laughs> this is kind of OP. So if I just run kind of, if I just walk a little bit far, Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me just sit down somewhere so I can pull this thing out. There we go. Okay, RCC controls left mouse. Okay, okay, okay. Horn is F. Uh, Denny. Okay. Wait, it says missing parts? I don't know what's going on. It does say missing parts. Wait. This kind of weird... What the? What is sick? These are kind of odd controls, though. I can't lie. It says parts missing. Should I still try? 
Oh, whoa. <laughs> These are so weird controls. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at this. The arrow is kind of guiding me somewhere here, but I don't know if this... I'm just going to kind of adventure. It's pointing me somewhere, but it doesn't seem like it's pointing me in the right direction. Because it seems like... Fudge. No way. I have to repair it? We have to pick up some kind of explosive then, and then... Then we blow up with it. Oh, hello. Hello there. Come down here. Come down here, my brother. All right. Oh, he, he got me. He got you little... He read me like a book. This is... like I, We're playing a zombies map. I still can't get... I can't wrap my head around that idea. Okay, so we're going to just run in, grab the control, but... I just got to find out what I got to pick up with the RCXD. Oh, he's got shock charges. Let me see. Let me confirm if this is pointing me to my body or if it's pointing me to somewhere else. I can't go back. Hello? Wait, what? I can't reverse. No. These binds are scuffed. No, I can't go back. <laughs> what? Hello? Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Oh. <gasps> Oh, this is... Whoa. We use this to go into the vents. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, fudge. I gotta shoot it. So, I went over there. He's right there. If I can't see him, he can't see me. He finds me, that's so BS. <laughs> no. Okay, so I know where that second location is at, so before I even open the door, I'm going to go open all of the vents then. Okay, so here's one. Oh, this is the other vent. No. No. Ain't no way that man spotted me from all the way down here. We gotta just walk over there. I don't remember where the RCXD is at. Boy, you don't. Oh, ain't no way. Oh, we, we, I think, I think, it, I think it's over. Jover style. No, get with me. What sucks is that ah oh, that zombie screwed me over. Oh god. That zombie true. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to create distance, but okay, I lost him. I need to keep going though. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Bruh, why do you have to place your shock charges there? It's wild. Okay, so we got all the parts now, thankfully. So now we just gotta go over here. Pick up this last part. Get close to the Pentagon Thief. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Let's blow this guy to smithereens. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. Bam. Get wrecked. Checkpoint reached. Let's go. So what do we do now? Build Ted. Build Ted. So let me go see if that guy dropped apart. Let me also go check the labs. So Avogadro just got wrecked. Did he drop something? He did. Key card. Okay, now let me go check what's over in the room real quick. Wow, so we used his own invention against him. What a loser. <laughs> this guy has no head. Oh, I can play. Oh, I need to get Ted's head. I see. So that's Ted. Or is this where the Victus crew is at? Nah. Start sequence. Oh, okay. 
So we got we got, okay. So yeah, that is this is gonna be Ted's body. It seems like. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice. It's it's kind of like yeah, it's a robot. It's not even a human. I thought thought it was just like a human body. Let's go see if I can pick up Ted's head then, because he Ted's over here. Wow. Okay, press and hold, take heads. Place head. And then now we start this. Do I go in? Starting transfer. Transfer in progress. What? Transfer. Dude, I'm Ted. I'm Ted now. <laughs> no way. This is sick. We got to access the director office, which was no, 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 it's the big door. It's the big door. It's the big door. We, we passed it. Objective updated. Gotta be something in here. Find the key. Hold in place, Cranorium. You don't have Cranorium. We need Cranorium. I'm guessing that's how we get the key, so... I missed something. Would that be in the labs? Let's go check the area we opened up to just then. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, I thought that was... Wait, is that something? Oh, wow, these cameras are in, like, the weird position. I can't even see squat. I might have to look up where the hell this Cronorum is at, because it's taking forever. <laughs> and I... I've looked everywhere, I think. I definitely am not going to be looking up where the Cronorium is at right now. Apparently, there's a painting that I got to shoot. Oh, boy. This zombie scared the shite out of me. This painting. Oh. Play safe cracker. Chapel key. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we still got to find the Cronorium. Oh, that's the final thing. Find the Cronorium. Nice. Let me see. Uh, we got some ammo. So this is probably where the Cronorium is going to be. Let's see. Oh, is it on the... Oh, wow. It's right there. What? Round 666? Um, wait, what? Wait. Whoa! Oh, somebody's playing piano. Oh my god. Okay, this is kind of sick. I can just throw this here. That should protect me. Samantha's playing the piano. Oh, I can't pick up that Molotov just yet. Wait, so... Please tell me this is a lockdown. <laughs> We're actually just talking about the zombies. I love it. Whoa, what is happening? I hear Richtofen. I forgot we're playing as Ted and not Richtofen. So it's kind of weird. I can't see Squat in here. Okay, it's lights back on. <gasps> what the hell? Burn, burn, burn. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Hold on, let me buy ammo. We got a Blight Father. Okay, this is cool. Wait, was the Blight Father who was walking around? Was the Blightfather walking around earlier? Is that what we seen? I thought it was a big monster thing. Okay, so we found the Cronorium, but we gotta kill him, I think. 
Wait, but I don't I don't see any we're not getting any hit markers. I wonder if we're supposed to kill them. That kind of scared me. I, I I didn't know what that was in the dark. So let me pick it up. Let's see if I just have to do that. Yep. Okay, cool. Oh fudge. Yep, place Gnorium. Oh, there's a whole nother room. Wait, but what do I do with this Blightfather? Am I supposed to actually kill him? Let me try to throw a Molotov at him. <laughs> <laughs> that, that missed completely. I guess we'll try to kill him. I do hear... Oh, he's dead. Oh, well, get wrecked. Whew. Okay, that was, that was terrifying. So there's a whole nother room. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> so, I guess that was just the demon that we seen earlier. Do I just fall down? Keep moving. Ah! Alright, I'm popping adrenaline then if I gotta move. Oh, we don't go in there. Go, 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 go. I'm just gonna keep on moving then. Whoa. Samantha. Is that the bunny from Cold War? It is. What's the bunny's name? It's like Buster or something, right? I think. If I'm being completely honest, I don't even know the story of this. Like, what's happening? Is this the end? What's happening here? What the hell? Wait. N okay, so I can't shoot it yet. Let me let me get the adrenaline. Ah, damn! He's throwing things at me. Okay, so he is taking some damage. Wait, but he doesn't take damage from. The I love how he's just throwing things at me. Oh no, the flamethrower does hella damage, kind of. This is interesting, cause like. This is Samantha's room, right? This is this is Samantha's room that we see in Origins, except it's on, oh there's spiders too. It's almost like if it's a set on like a theater, but it's weird. So Samantha, what, what does this imply that Samantha's room is? Yeah, hey, I'm getting ticked. I'm, I'm taking so much damage. Does this imply that Samantha's room was fake and it was all a, it was all a ruse all along? Holy crap, dude. This guy just throwing things at me. <laughs> I, I, would, I would expect him to shoot some goo or something at me. But he's just throwing chairs. <laughs> it's kind of hard to take it serious when that's, that's what's going on here. This is my first time playing this. But is there a way... Like, there's no way the flamethrower is the best weapon, right? There might be some kind of side easter eggs in this that I didn't catch. Let me pop adrenaline. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Yeah, because this time I did it completely solo. Like, as in... Usually I'll look up a guide. This time I just decided... It's so... Not straightforward, but it's so uh, story-driven that... As long as I pay attention, you kind of know what's going on, you know? Burn! 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 He's almost dead! He's almost dead! Feel my wrath! Yes! Woo! Damn. Was this all going on in the Revelations household? 
Yeah, I'm kind of confused on the story. I mean, that might be my fault. Oh, wait. Oh, it was a literal nightmare. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Round of applause. Round of applause for that. I'm pretty sure that's the ending. W. W. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> w map. This map was awesome. Um, make sure to check the description for the download link. It can always be linked down there. Custom maps like this are beautiful. And this is actually one of the maps that you guys wanted me to play for a very long time actually for a long time i honestly don't know why i never played it but um this was uh this was definitely worth it it's so crazy how different this feels <laughs> like we're playing black ops 3 this must be a zombies game and it's interesting how they dealt with the zombies aspect the call of duty stuff and everything uh and how they kind of put it into this map it's awesome dude it really is cool as hell so yeah, that's going to be it for today, fellas. Hope you guys did enjoy. I know this has been requested for a very long time. Shout out to Scrub Lords, by the way. So I finally did it. But yeah, if you guys do want to check out the map too, it's going to be linked down below in the description. Like always, it's a pretty fun map. Honestly, I got to rate this map like a, it's got to be a solid 8.9. It's super good. I really enjoyed it. The graphics look really nice too. And if you guys want to see more zombies content in the future, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and comment down below which map I should play next. But yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one, fellas. Peace, 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 peace. I do also want to give a huge shout out to all the YouTube members, the Twitch subscribers, and the Discord boosters. I appreciate your guys' support. You guys are absolutely amazing. So shout out to Taters, Chicky Cheeses, The Scrub Lords, Red, Ash, Nut King Called, FN40, Muscle, Creek, Dutch Terminator 7, Sappy Xville, Knuckles Vivo, One Evan Flames 1, The Big J6, The Zombie Guru, LST Hang, Joff underscore Easybots, Uncle Nikolai, Arno, and Jake Snusbuster. I appreciate you guys so much for the support. You guys are awesome. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel even further, make sure to check the links down below in the description. I appreciate it so much.